My husband actually passed away 10 years ago. He wasn't supposed to do that. I had made a lot of bad mistakes and choices in my life and had left my family and was coming back and we were putting our relationship back together and then he, we found out he had terminal cancer and it lasted maybe four months. For my kids, I wasn't there for part of their growing up because I thought they didn't appreciate me, so I left home. Coming back and making amends with them, especially with my daughter, was really hard. I thought I was going to hell, so it didn't matter. It seemed like it didn't matter. I'd actually got to a point in my life where I'd given up, and um, I was just waiting for whenever my time to die was going to be, which I didn't know when. I weighed 250 pounds. I'm four feet, 10 inches. I've been a food addict my whole adult life. It was something I couldn't control. There's no way I could eat just one of anything. It didn't happen. I just got to the point where I could not keep my eyes open at work because I could sleep 12 hours and I was tired all the time. My boss told me, you need to go get some help. So I went to my doctor. He told me I had to lose 100 pounds. Cigarettes and alcohol, they were hard to quit, but food is something else. Food was so, so much harder. How do you not eat? I actually started in the program three years ago. During that time, I found out about how to have a relationship with the Savior. With Him on my side and Him helping me, that's what gave me the courage to um, keep going and keep changing because I knew that He would be there and I already knew that He and Heavenly Father loved me. So that gave me the courage to keep going and to not quit. Step five is confession. One of my friends has said in the meeting that if um, you just keep the secrets and they, the secrets don't ever get well or they don't get better. Nothing changes until you let it out. In going to visit with my bishop the first time, I was very apprehensive because there were some things in there that I had to say out loud and bring up that nobody knew. There were things that I was very ashamed of and wished that I'd never done. I think part of the hardest part that I had to face was how my actions had affected my family. So it really helped to be able to get those secrets out. And it was amazing because I didn't hurt anymore. It was amazing, it really was. I didn't feel guilty anymore. I felt clean, I felt I had courage. I knew if I can do this, I can do anything if I can get through that. There was a big load gone off my shoulders. And um, I felt like I felt like I'd lost another 50 pounds just by getting rid of all that junk that was inside of me that was no good. And I don't know, I just felt like everything's going to be better now. It's out. So I don't have to keep it a secret anymore. Okay, this was my picture that was taken in 2001. Can you see it okay? That is not you. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> it's amazing. So I've changed my life. I, I really literally have changed how I eat, how I think about food. It's not number one in my life anymore. There is definitely hope. <laughs>